Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present to you the app I've been working on, Maxwell, a comprehensive AI health assistant. Before we look at what Maxwell does, let's take a look at why I developed Maxwell. This January, I was diagnosed with a rare condition called empty cellar syndrome. This happens when a tumor-like growth happens right by your pituitary gland and optic nerve meat. Now, what this does is my functioning of my pituitary gland is minimized and I have a lot of hormonal imbalance. What this also means is that I have to keep a good diligent record of my health statistics, like what I eat, how much physical activity I'm doing and so on and so forth. This is not unlike what a lot of ailments require. They either require the person caregiving or the person going through the problem to keep a diligent record of their current health position. I looked at everything that's out there in the marketplace and I did not find a health app that was comprehensive enough that looked at all the facets of what affects a person's well-being. To that end, I went and developed my own. This is Maxwell. What Maxwell does is it takes inputs from different plethora of user statistics like gut health, mental health, food, steps, physical activity, and medical records. And it uses AI image analysis, text analysis, and data processing to crunch all these interconnected health statistics and provide the user with an actionable tip or an insight for the very next day. The framework for Maxwell is pretty straightforward. I use Flutter to develop an app that leverages the multimodal Gemini models to capture the different inputs. This is all processed and stored in Firebase as a data store. Firebase is also used for authentication purposes. All of this data is then run through Google Cloud Function that leverages Gemini API and Maxwell's instructions to provide the user with an actionable insight for the next day. Users can set their own custom instructions. The differentiator for us in using Gemini AI models is threefold. Because of the huge amount of data and the complexity involved, we wanted a model that can do large context length, fast processing, and has excellent AI image analysis. And Gemini models captured all three of these facets really well. Let's take a look at how I do all of this with a demo. Food journal and food analysis. This is the screen for Maxwell, you see some tips there from, yet, from early this morning and yesterday and so on and so forth. I am going to go ahead and add this food that I'm eating as my lunch. And I'm going to let Maxwell analyze this. We use Google's image processing to do all of this analysis and break down the food into different macronutrients and give a little bit of description on calories, etc., and so on and so forth. The important part about all this is that this is then saved to your food journal and you can go ahead and see what all you ate through the day in different days. The advantage of this is for the user, but more importantly for the AI to now know exactly how much you consumed and relate it with other health aspects of it. Speaking of, now I get to add my health note for the day. We've given some references on how gut health is measured, different um, charts and so on and so forth. And I'm going to use, my poop for today was really good. It was on a four scale and my pee was well hydrated. My mood is a minus two and my vision is good. And that updated the current dates stats. I can also add some steps and so on and so forth. I expect these to be integrated with Google Fit data. For now, it's a manual update. In addition to all this, you can also add medical tests. Now, I want to add a medical record from my, uh, my chart that I downloaded. I took a snapshot of my recent tests that I got. So I want to add that into my Maxwell's database. I go ahead and use image processing and it's able to figure out the values, et cetera, and so on and so forth, and add that details to my medical data. Now we've added everything. I want Maxwell to do its magic and run a tip for me. I 
Currently, I have a custom instruction there, which I'm going to modify and show you how users can modify the custom instructions. It's talking about food. It said I have some type 127 on my Bristol scale, so I should add some fermented foods to my uh, food pr product. I want to add, let's focus tips on physical activity. I updated my instruction, and now when I run Maxwell, it looks at all of my data across the board on all the days that it's been and gives me a tip that I need to do for more physical activity. The homepage for Maxwell also shows you, based on how you've been recording stuff, it gives you a snapshot of your wellness profile. Let's talk about the other use cases for Maxwell. Maxwell can be used to manage a plethora of different ailments. Things like type 1, type 2 diabetes, people with dementia, you can update and modify your parameters that you're trying to save. This makes caregiving and the person suffering from the ailment life easier. They only have to concentrate on logging their status. They don't have to worry about the insights, etc. For next steps for Maxwell, we're looking to integrate it with Google Fit Data and MyChart for seamless integration for bringing in their tests and their daily stats. We also want to integrate it with smart toilets, smart glasses, and smart watches. All this does is reduce the time that the user has to manually update their inputs and seamless integration of inputs that already exist in the world will create a better insight-driven tip for the user. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present Maxwell, and I hope you consider my application. Thank you.